Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve equals true. Please head on over to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest tips, tricks, and techniques and everything about Excel. All right, uh, before we get started, I wanted to give a great big shout out and thank you to every one of my subscribers. We've reached 10,000. We're above 10,000 subscribers and I think that's just an awesome achievement. Really appreciate everybody out there. Thanks for all of the likes. The thumbs up, uh, all of the new subscribers as well, really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, please click on the little bell subscribe icon. After you click on subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking on that bell. Uh, all right, today I'm gonna show you a user-inspired question from YouTube. Uh, the user said, hey, I have some uh, blank data in my stacked area chart. Actually, what he wanted to do was just add a blank at the very beginning of his stacked area chart. So I took uh, his comments, took a look again at a previous post I had done where I was able to do a cliff on the right edge of it. And uh, this technique uh, is gonna do something that is um, what you can apply in between each one of any data points that you have in your stacked area chart now. So you can create these cliffs or these breaks so that uh, you don't see um, what's showing up for zeros. Um, if I click on this uh, series, hit the delete key, you'll see what your stacked area chart would look like without this masking in place. So they're saying, hey, we don't have business in Q4, so it shouldn't be going down to zero. This is looking like we're seeing data within Q4 that is not actually there. Now, one caveat with this technique and approach is I believe there is a bug within Microsoft Excel that after I save this chart and reopen it um, as an Excel file, the masking that I've applied on top of the um, um, the stacked area chart uh, goes away. It's still there, it's still on the secondary axis, but it is being plotted differently than you're seeing here. Even when taking a picture of this chart, uh, if I copy and paste it into my um, software, you'll notice that the masking goes away. So something's not being applied correctly and it gets reset every time uh, you open up the chart. So I highly recommend only using this technique if you're going to print this chart, if you're gonna use this as a PDF, uh, if you're gonna take a picture or a snapshot of this chart, uh, but not if you're gonna send this chart as an Excel file to someone, they will once again see those um, uh, zero points that we saw a second ago. So the other caveat with this chart is You'll notice for a stacked area chart, you cannot have just one data point. There won't be a dot here, a dot there, and a dot there. You need at least two points to create the, the area. So um, the area is drawn, um, as you see here, there's, there's not a point. So you'll need at least two data points in order to uh, use this technique. So I wanted to make sure that was clear and understood. All right, let's take a look at how we do this technique. Now, as you can see, here's our data. Um, so for 2013, we have four quarters of data. I'm assuming that this is a summer type of business, so they only have summer activities and they don't have uh, late and early uh, winter seasons in Q1 and Q4. So maybe that's January and they just don't have the business operating at that time. But they want to show their data as a stacked area chart. Uh, so our technique of what we want to do. Oh, and then in 2015, I guess just to show, uh, maybe they are doing a little business in Q1. Uh, maybe they've started uh, doing some midnight cruises or something uh, that, at that time. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to add an extra data series, as you see here at the very bottom of the data. I call it second access, uh, just so you know how we're going to plot it. You will put a zero in any of the values where the, the data above has a value. So put zeros there and your data is all set. Now let's go ahead and show you this technique. What you want to do is highlight your entire data range, go up to your insert ribbon, go to the area chart, then you want to choose a stacked area chart. And there is our stacked area chart, as you see here. Um, and so the next thing that you want to do is you want to uh, click anywhere in the chart and you want to go to your layout ribbon. We want to go over to our current selection group. And in there, we are going to pick um, a current selection with the down arrow here of second access, because that was the data series that we've created that we want to choose and modify. It's now been selected in the chart, and so we can click on Format Selection. So once again, first you're going to go up to the Chart Elements, choose Second Access, and then click on the Format Selection button. You can also press Control-1 after having selected it. You can also select it within the chart if you're able to see it or navigate to it as you see fit. So we're going to now format the selection, and we're just going to move that series to the secondary axis, 
and click on close. Now you can see uh, the secondary uh, axis um, values are plotting as um, area that is coming from the very top down to zero uh, because of how the secondary axis operates um, in default. So it's starting up here uh, up above and it's going, it's reaching down, it's probably stopped starting at infinity coming down to zero and that's how it's plotting um, as you see here. Now I'm gonna double click on any one of these second axis series. I'm gonna bring up the format data series dialog box. I'm gonna click on fill and I'm gonna change to solid fill and then I want to change my color to white so that it matches the background of my chart. So as you can see now, the masking has been applied on um, our data in between quarter three and quarter one. Uh, you can see our white overlayment has happened there. The only There's only two little other things that we need to do to this chart is click on the secondary axis and hit your delete key. And then second, uh, click anywhere on the legend and then click on the second access legend entry, hit your delete key, and your chart is done. Now, so now we have our final chart, but once again, as we discussed, there is a bug within Excel that this series that we have moved to the secondary access as a stacked uh, area chart will disappear. It'll still be on the secondary access when we reopen the file. So if you hit save, close the file, reopen the file, it will go away. Uh, there is an easy fix to it, but it's not something that you can really describe to your users to go and do. Uh, you can fix it every time. You'll have to fix it every time you open the file. Uh, so that's why I recommend using this technique if you're going to put it in a printed report or if you're going to take a picture um, of the uh, actual chart. So if you snip um, this out and put it into your PowerPoint template, uh, PowerPoint chart, uh, whatever you, Word document, uh, wherever you see fit. You may even want to make a copy of it within the Excel sheet so that people can see it within the Excel sheet. Um, however, behind it or on another tab, uh, this chart is being displayed um, as uh, it will show up when you open it and anytime you need to fix it, you can fix it and update the picture. So let me close this file down and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so now I have reopened the file. And as you can see, our cliffs are no longer showing. It's uh, so the masking that we've put with that other uh, uh, area chart is no longer blocking what we need to block. To fix it, what you do need to do is click anywhere in the chart, go up to your layout ribbon, go over to your current selection area and pick the second access series. Once you've done that, click on the format selection button and in your format selection button, you're gonna see what we need. It's still on the secondary axis, however, it's not showing up as we left it when we hit save. So the fix is click on primary axis, move it back to the secondary axis, and as you can see, it's now showing up and masking those areas within our chart. Final thing you need to do is just click on the vertical axis and hit your delete key and your chart is once again back to where it was before. So this is why I recommend that you only save this as a picture, uh, add it to your reports as a picture, things like that, create it as a PDF file. Do not send this out as a Microsoft Excel file because um, the users will no longer see the cliffs and they'll wonder what happened to the chart uh, because those maskings will go away every time you save it. It is a bug in my opinion. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and thank you very much. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to hit the like button and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking on the EDT logo and then scroll down and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. If you need more details or links, click on the step-by-step -step image. Finally, check out these other videos you might also like.